Good morning, everybody. I'm Blitz. Welcome back to a game called Hydronir. There was a little secret sneaky update that the developer just launched to celebrate Hydronir being on Steam for one year. Now, uh, it did take me about a year to build up this amazing machine right here. Oh, we better we better repair this before everything just breaks up, blows up, and explodes. We have to wait for everything to explode for just a little bit. Because you saw the title and the thumbnail for this video, nukes have been added to the game. Yes, that's right. Nuclear bombs, like the big spody boys. <laughs> uh, and I kind of want to try them out today. Um, this machine makes about a million money every hour or so. So, I don't know. I'm just making that up. It makes a buttload of money because there are a ton of different machines that are all building up and they are making a lot of money. Any given moment, lots and lots of coin is being created. There it goes. It drops down in and then it goes into... Can I go down in the camera mode? Oh, well, anyway, it goes... How do I... What's the down button? Why is, can't I find... There's the up button. All right. Well, let's just leave the camera mode. And yeah, we're just getting millions and millions of monies pouring into here after everything gets fixed up. And it's all nice, perfect, and wonderful. Then, because it's so laggy, the game gets flushed, and all of that money goes up to the top into these. <laughs> oh, yes. You guys probably remember that. And thankfully, we already have a ton of money that I've saved up. Check this out. This little block right here, it only weighs a solid 47,000 pounds. Yeah, so... I mean, I can just pick it up with my non-existent fingers because I don't even have a shadow. Then I can throw that bar right into here, grab myself a beautiful anvil, slap that down on the table, do a little bit of clicky, 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 clicky. Then I grab my blacksmith hammer and my saw. And then we put this on here, like such as. And we take the saw boy and we go click and cut some sort of strange metal in half. And we pick out a beautiful blue gem, run it over here, slap it right on top of the... I said to slap it right on... Get your ugly blue self over... Sit, lay down, grab this thing, and bing bada boom, we have a giant million dollar blue necklace. Ha <laughs> We'll slap the blue necklace in the back of my truck, unload the garbage that's in here, jump inside the truck, and magically float all the way over to the entrance, drive the truck to town, magically crash it into the jeweler's hut, grab that beautiful necklace, and then slap it down here for $1.3 million. That sounds amazing. Now it also looks like we have some dangling participles back here, so we'll just drive it over to the crap yard, throw the dangling participle on here, like such as, and then we'll go press the flame button. One of my favorite things in the entire world, fire. Now you're probably saying to yourself, Blitz, you talked about nukes in the intro. Where are they? We demand nuclear bombs. Don't worry, they're right up here. I like them. See it right there? It's so adorable. Aw, it's a little mini nuke. So I'll just back this behemoth right up over to here, grab my $1.3 million, run that in, and drop it into the together, so it's like 1.5 million now. And then it's time to do math. 1.5 million divided by 26,000 is 57. About 57 nukes. That should be good, right? I'm not gonna lie, I don't know if these things, how they work. So, um, yeah. <laughs> We're just gonna buy nukes. We're going to fill the back of our truck full of nukes. Four, five. Hey, according to my math, that is 50. Counting is hard. Leave me alone. And it'll just pretend to know how to drive properly. Back up right over this square. Oh boy, I've never bought a million dollars worth of nukes before. And then back it right up. Right. Oh, oh, no. Okay, landed it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Good. Don't be dumb now, truck. Don't be dumb. Okay, we're gonna get out. We're gonna look at the price. Yeah, 1.3 million. <laughs> it's about 1.3 million dollars worth of nukes. Someone's gonna put me on a list. Also, there's this free one here. Um, what do I do with this guy? I know what we do with this guy. We take him over to our testing labs. Yeah, we blew up like a million dollars worth of TNT over here. Not a huge hole, right? What happens if I just strap in a nuke right onto here? And we'll just go like that? Oh, balls. See, the question is, do these chain react, or do I need to hook up each one individually? I don't really know, but I'm gonna push the button in three, two, one, and, 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 and activate! Okay, it didn't activate, because I was unsetting it. BUMP! Oh! 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 I blew up one nuke. Oh, look at that! That's a really cool mushroom cloud forming! Hot dang, that's awesome! Like, is that the first animation that we have in this game? The nuke blew up! We did it! And I was right outside of the base range. I guess it'd still be in, like, what, the shockwave? Yeah, it'd definitely be a shockwave. It's still rumbling. Do I taste green? Oh! 
that one nuke blew up as much stuff as like a thousand individual bombs. Plus it gave a really sweet looking mushroom cloud. So I wonder what would happen with 50 nukes. And wouldn't it be more fun if we blew up my entire base? I think that would be a lot more fun for some cynical reason. I have to say too, how cool these things look. Like they had a little mini nuke symbol on the side of them. They're so adorable. Like, can you imagine one of these as a plushie? I'd buy like seven just to cuddle them. So my big brain thinking is that these nukes are probably gonna chain react. And if I do seven in a row, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, then I can grit out 49 nukes in here and everything will get blown sky high. Can I just wanna get just and there we go, got it. There's something that feels very, very, very wrong about what I'm doing right now. Kind of like if you're lactose intolerant and eat a giant piece of cheesecake, you know it's gonna be really tasty but on the other end, it's not gonna be tasty at all. I don't know, I feel like I've got all 50 of them in. Either that or my numbers are backwards in my brain. And I might have bought more than 50 cause I got two left over. So we'll just have, we'll have a couple spares. We can make a fuse, that'll be fun. Here, you go, oh, where should I? I kinda wanna go to the angle, like blow it up from right here just so we can see a giant explosion, man. And since none of this is actually gonna be usable, we're just gonna, What's the word? Cannibalize? Yeah, we're gonna cannibalize our entire structure. Do I need the- I don't need T's. I need these ones. Wait, these are timers. <laughs> these are one second timers. That could be kind of fun. I also kind of want to turn the entire machine on just to watch it like get really, really broken. That's a really good perspective right there. Oh boy. Well, um, I mean, you know what I should do? <laughs> I have a feeling this is gonna crash my game, so maybe I should back up my save file. And then we look nicely at it. I really just want, I really wanna press this button, but I don't because that's like 70 hours worth of work building up that structure. But I did just back up the save file, so, okay, it's going. I don't know how many seconds it takes to go. Oh, there it goes, oh, that scared me. Uh, that didn't chain. Oh, it did chain react. Oh, 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 that whole long line chain reacted. Oh, that's amazing. But it didn't chain react over because it was too far away. But it probably shouldn't have been because the nuke is touching the other nukes. <gasps> wow. Oh, that's so cool. I need to look at the aftermath of this. And then I might just chain react everything together, like wire them all. Oh, oh, that's awesome. And I can just repurpose all of these wires. I'm literally one short. I need to find one. Where's one? Where's one that doesn't have some sort of fancy writing on it? This one, that'll work, right there. <laughs> oh, nukes are so much fun. Okay, are you ready? Uh, this is gonna be 49 nukes going off in just a few seconds. I just, I pressed the button, I pressed the button. I, I did it. I pressed, this is gonna be great. Ready? Oh! <laughs> what? Oh, look at that. There's trash flying everywhere. Oh, that was great. I'm going in. I'm going in. Yeah! <laughs> oh, that is sick. I love it. Oh, that is so cool. And some of the stuff survived, so we've got that going for us. But uh, how do I how do I get out of here? <laughs> Everything's blown up. I don't know how to leave. Kind of bothers me that this stuff is still alive. And we'll do a, like a, another little a little another nugget of boom booms. <laughs> Yay! I like nuking things. Wait, did the other one go? I don't think the other one went. So do these get flushed in here? Yeah, it does work. So I can just do this and then dump everything. Oh, come on. Grab everything. Kind of like a little vacuum cleaner. Just sucking it all up. And then, well, this is going to take too long. So I don't care about all that money. And we blew up our base. So we did it. Yay. Thanks for watching. Bye. And I'd like to thank everyone who signed up on Patreon, including Ben, Ellen Hagen, Dickie James, Apollo Bunny, Otto Dave, Eagle Arc, Whip It Good, Seraphin X, Des Bogger, Maxer, Sarnoff, Legacy, Jason McFarland, Deegan, Paul Longstone, and Ralph. And everyone who has clicked that join button down below to become a YouTube channel member. 